Hi everyone, welcome to Eating Peace. I have been thinking so much lately about what it takes. This is the most basic question of all, why you're even here wanting to listen to this. What it takes to go from eating war to eating peace. What is that? I've looked at that over and over again and done an enormous amount of academic study, personal study for myself, philosophical study, reading, you know, being in contact with other people and experts that work with this. And then of course, so many people that I've worked with over the years and groups and teaching classes. And sometimes I look back at what I did at the beginning and I think, oh my God, I'm surprised anyone got anything out of that. Because <laughs> it's, um, it's such a huge, wide question, you know? How do you, when you feel like you're in eating battle, like when your mind is filled with anxiety and concern, you're constantly not sure what to eat, or you notice that even if you do know what to eat, you don't eat it. You have, you have anxiety and, um, or even rage and despair when it comes to food and eating. And it all seems sort of unconscious, like part of you isn't even there. And there's just so many aspects of eating that can be such a huge struggle. How do you get from that to peaceful eating, not having concern, not feeling like you need to control yourself all the time or be out of control and be you know, lost with that? Um, I used to swing like a pendulum in such a huge, um, entirely in control experience, you know, where everything is, I'm restricting everything, I've I'm lining everything up, I've got my whole day or my plan mapped out with food and eating and my exercise regime. <laughs> and then of course that would break apart and I would just want one moment of letting things be the way they are, letting things be chaotic for once, you know, not having to be so on alert constantly all the time. And it didn't seem like there was much in between. So the first thing I want to share with you today is that of course, there are many aspects of the journey from anxious, warlike eating with food, even if it's just internal, to peaceful eating, self-love, you know, enjoying your life with food or not even having it be that big of a deal, which is kind of like how it is for me now. It's just not something I think about amazingly. It used to be something I thought about all the time, and it's been several decades since that has happened and I absolutely am so grateful for that. So if you have found that you're you know, still experiencing anxiety or have these bits and pieces of moments or if your life is overwhelmed with um, concern about how to handle eating, how that shows up in your body, and what that relationship with is like for you in all kinds of different situations, um, the place I love to look at it first is to, that we're going from feeling, a feeling bad, to feeling peaceful, to feeling good. We're going from feeling completely devastated to feeling completely comfortable. And just know that those feelings are the beginning and the end, and then the way that it kind of spirals and continues to flow, always a return to the sense of feeling good, whatever that actually means. I know it has a lot of um, complex, you know, ideas associated with it and depending on what the events are going on that are in the outside world, but your feeling upset about food has to do with feeling upset about maybe other things that have nothing to do with food. I mean, that's why it's called emotional eating. I am eating out of feelings and out of emotions and these feelings are stormy and upset or angry or um, full of attack or sadness, feeling hurt. And if you've watched some of my other videos, I love to summarize three of the most huge, wide, cloudy feelings that seem to really affect our eating in these areas. Lack of safety, feeling empty, feeling really empty, like a ghost hunger where you just cannot be filled, or feeling powerless, feeling powerless to change, powerless to 
shift or do anything in your life that can make a difference. Those three areas are so possible to not have to eat over. Now, you know, you can, so you can end eating war and eating battles and the experience of eating being full of unrest and eating become, can find its place, but it doesn't mean you are not going to ever feel powerless again in your life or empty, you know, lost or abandoned or afraid. Those things are gonna happen. So one of the most key important places you know, ways to work with this journey is to, I'm just going to speak about one aspect today. And I actually have six that I've sort of summarized and I called them jewels because it's like, you're not really visiting a place. You're not really using them as a strategy. These aren't really steps to eating peace. Um, they aren't really like your practices, even though they sort of are. But I love them because they're sort of like jewels because I like the image of that within us all, we have like these jewels inside already. They just get sort of covered up with dirt. You know, they have all this dust and piles of experiences falling down on top of them. And they're like under a whole, um, you know, accumulation of childhood patterns and thoughts that we've been thinking and teachings and the way people have been with us. And so it's kind of under this, these piles of dirt. And we just need to dig through and then take them out because they are there. And then even dust them off, wash them with soap and water, and then give them a good polishing so that they can sparkle and shine and be used by us. So these jewels that I love, so it's wonderful to know, number one, you already have them. And number two, that they are things that you can be reminded of, or you give a symbol that there's a slight jewel, maybe even they have certain colors for you. But there are six of them that I love to speak of. And they are, first of all, acceptance. And I know that there, I'm, everything that I'm gonna say right now, I wanna keep very close, under a minute, a 10 minute video. So we'll go more into this in the future but just today to know, you can ask yourself and hold these jewels like they're in the palm of your hand, these ideas. Can I accept this moment and accept this feeling that I am having that is so uncomfortable? Simply accept it. Allow it to be there. Allowing is another jewel. They are different, they have their distinction. I go much more into that in eating peace programs that I teach. Um, allowing the feeling to be there, letting it be the way it is. And then a key, key component is bringing the mind, which seems to be like an enemy, and it seems like difficult thoughts in the mind are the things that create the feelings that we have that are so uncomfortable. So we go backwards from feeling and we look at what are we actually thinking? So another jewel is to identify our thoughts. Identify thought. That's what I love about the work of Byron Katie. That's what I love about just journaling and writing. You know I've told you a whole bunch of times to keep a journal <laughs> so that you can look and see what your thoughts are. And another jewel is to actually question those thoughts. Questioning, deep questioning, considering if they are true watching and seeing what's really happening, what's really going on. A fifth jewel for that journey or the awakening from eating war to eating peace is to, this is a really odd one, do nothing. <laughs> that is pause, wait. Don't start planning about how you're gonna handle and manage and fix and control and run and set up your schedule and I'm gonna do that later and here's what it's going to look like. Just do nothing. Don't make a plan. Very hard for people who want to, you know, read a whole diet book and get that stuff all together. And actually, there's many, many important um, components to learning what works well with your body and how to eat in a beautiful way that really works tremendously well with your body. And finding the structure and scaffolding for that is genius for yourself. But 
You don't have to go racing off to the, you know, wildly in, in that in order to get the right plan. And the sixth jewel is to be. Be who you are. <laughs> it's going to sound so like, Grace, what do you mean just be? It's sort of a receiving state. Being love, being who you are, expressing yourself honestly, expressing yourself, finding what you've discovered as you turn around your thinking and relax into what you could be feeling instead, opening up, expanding your feelings into much more, and then seeing what that would actually be like, using your imagination, having your mind and your heart talk to each other the way they already do so well but using it for something that is uh, using their communication for messages that help you feel expansive and more like yourself, more like you're just being who you really are, unfettered, untethered. And that leads you to eating peace. I mean, if you can find that, anyone who can find that finds peace everywhere you carry it around with you and everything that you do and this magnificent thing called eating bringing some of the universe that is out here apparently right into yourself into your own body can become incredibly peaceful and just a non-issue everyone has the capacity to get to that everyone does everyone has the right to live in peace with food it's just a natural part of having a human body and you can do that something just got a little clouded over maybe very dirty with a lot of thoughts and uncomfortable feelings and you've been doing the best you can so if you would like to learn much more about all these um, aspects of learning how to go from eating battles to eating peace then join me on a webinar I'm gonna do this first one on Sunday Pacific time at 8.30 a.m. November 8th, and I will make sure to include uh, a link to how you can find out how to watch that on your computer. And then we'll do two more next week, Tuesday and Wednesday. So you'll get steps, lots more deep. We'll go much farther into these steps, 90-minute webinars so that you really can um, incorporate this into your life and understand how to use these practices and carry your jewels around with you everywhere without even having to think about it. All right. Thanks for joining me today. Talk with you all soon. Bye-bye. Hope to see you soon.